Today I'm going to show you how to set up the new Sony cameras to have a better focusing configuration when shooting video. Let's get undone. What is happening everybody? I'm Gerald Undone and recently I figured out how to set my Sony a7 III here to have a better focusing configuration for the type of video stuff that I do. Now I've been so used to using my GH5 and one of the things that I love about shooting video on the GH5 is that when I set it to manual focus, which I do often, this right now is shot on manual focus, I can still use the auto focus capabilities like the AF lock button on the back of the GH5 to grab the focus so I don't have to actually move the focusing ring to get the manual focus to lock on. So with that, you set it to manual focus, you press the button, shh, it locks in on, it uses AF to achieve focus, but then it's not gonna focus anymore because it's on manual. With the Sony, I was having difficulty achieving the same result because either you could have it in autofocus continuous, in which case pointing at anything causes the autofocus to trigger, or you can put it in manual focus, in which case the AF on button, and I believe even putting the shutter button halfway down, but I don't use the shutter button for focus, uh, but they don't do anything. So the AF on button does nothing when you have it on manual focus mode. And I don't want it obviously to do autofocus continuous, or I would have put it in that, but it would be nice to have the same thing like I have on the GH5, which is that when I have it set up and I'm like, okay, this is my shot, now just quickly focus, and then we'll start recording, it doesn't do anything, so I have to actually turn the ring until I get it sharp, and then I can start recording. So I figured out a way around this, and I'm gonna show you how to set that up on your Sony if you wanna have the same settings, because I think it's really handy and really awesome to have. So I'm gonna plug this guy in, and I'm gonna show you how to do this now in the menu. Okay, so we're all set up here and we are capturing from the Sony. So the first thing we're gonna need to do is go into the menu and move over to the second one here, the movie settings, and then go to page eight, which is custom operation one. Now you'll see here you have custom key settings for photo mode, for video mode, and for playback mode. Now it doesn't really matter which one you set up because you can make them roll out for all three, but uh, let's specifically go into the movie custom key, but you can do this for photo as well. And then we're gonna wanna go into the third page, which has the options for AEL and AF on button. Now I always set the AF on button to be AF on, to, for be autofocus, and I take it off of the shutter button, because I don't want, when I press the shutter button to initiate autofocus, I only want to do it from the back of the camera. That way I can take pictures without having it refocus for me. Uh, so I have the AF on button sort of locked down, but I never use the AEL in video, because I don't really see much need to lock my exposure when I'm shooting video, and I do everything in manual anyway. So we're gonna use the AEL button as an option to configure it to what we want to do. And what we're going to want to choose this for is on page 3 of 18 here, there is the AF-MF control hold, and there's also the toggle. Basically the toggle, that's it where you press it once and it switches between AF and MF, but the hold is a little bit more operating like an AF on button would, where it's only when you press it. So we're going to set it to AF-MF control hold on the AEL button. So basically what that's going to do, as you can see here, I have this pointing at the uh, studio monitor here, and it's auto-focusing on whatever I pointed at, because this is because it's on AFC mode. But if we switch it to, and, and when we're on this mode, if I press the AF on button, it will give me that green indicator that it's found and locked on focus. Now this is what we want to have happen when we're in manual focus mode as well, but it doesn't. So if we switch to manual focus now, you'll see the problem that I was talking about. If I press the AF on button, it literally does nothing. If I want it to focus on something closer, like my hand, it just won't do anything. And obviously it's not gonna focus on my hand automatically because that's disabled as well. So now that we have the AEL button set up, if we hold it, for the second that we hold it for, it's switching over to autofocus, but only as long as we hold it. So that way it kind of gives us like an autofocus. So now, even though we're still in manual focus, so look, if I put my hand here, it's not changing focus, right? But if I hold the AEL button, it will achieve focus just as long as I hold it. And as soon as I let go of it, it goes back to manual focus so it won't change. But if I'm holding it while it's on my hand and if I keep holding it and I move my hand away, it will focus on that. So that is great for what we want. Now, it's not gonna give us the lock, the green the green like lock or make a beep or anything like that because it's not the same thing as AF on, it's just continuously autofocusing. But if you really want that, as long as you're holding the AEL button, you can use the shutter button halfway to get a lock. So I'm still in manual focus, but if I hold the AEL button, and then press the shutter button halfway, it will give me the focus lock indicator. So I can come over here, press the shutter halfway, and then just release both buttons, and then I know that I'm locked in there, and then I'm back in manual focus. So it doesn't matter if I like point it at something really close, and then come back up here, the focus hasn't changed. 
and it won't change if I put something in front of the camera either until I press AEL just long enough for it to focus, and then it changes it. So that's pretty much it. It basically emulates what the GH5 does, which is that you can have it on manual focus all the time and just get it to focus on things that you want it to, and it won't change the focus on you when you don't want it to. Now this can be used in reverse as well, so maybe you were already set up on autofocus continuous and that's what you wanted to do the majority of your shooting, but every once in a while you wanted to pop in a manual to either check your focus peaking to see if what you thought would be in focus is in focus, or if you just wanted to give a fine adjustment to it, you can hold down the AEL, which is now our AFMF control hold, and then you can adjust the focus ring here and sort of dial it in. And although you guys can't see the focus peaking through the capture, when you're not capturing, you can see it on the back of your display, and then you could look at it and get the focus peaking to show up exactly where you'd want, you go, okay, I'm happy with that. And then as soon as you let go of it, you're back to autofocus continuous. So that can also let it be sort of like a focus hold. So when we're here and we're like, I like that shot, hold it. And now if anything comes in front, the autofocus continuous isn't gonna interrupt it unless you let go of the button, and then it will. So it just gives you that option to kind of like switch back and forth, which I think adds a lot more versatility than the way that the camera comes stock. I actually found the focusing modes right out of the box to be kind of annoying when coming from the GH5 because I'd have it set up and I'd be like, okay, just press the AF on and wait, AF on doesn't do anything? Oh, we have to put it autofocus continuous, but then it's going to be jittering if I'm moving out of the... So I was kind of annoyed about that, but simple fix, use the AEL button because... Yeah, well, you're not using it for anything anyway, right? Anyway, that's going to be it for me. I hope you found this video helpful or at least entertaining. And if you did, make sure you leave it the old thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. But if you did not find this video helpful or entertaining, feel free to hit the dislike button twice. All right! I'm done.